So you would think with Adobe's Creative Cloud and the fact they're charging us 50 bucks a month essentially to get these new updates that they would be a little bit more diligent about the stuff that's irritating. Anyway, um, the new drivers for the Cintiq pad as well as Windows 10 seem to conflict with each other. And if you look at those, let me call up here just even the crop tool or the, the clone tool, um, you'll see like when you press you kind of get that little circle that comes in. Um, you know, it, it's kind of something that delays and doesn't quite pick the right spot and you know, it just is generally irritating. And if you go into the liquify, go into filter and liquify, you'll see as it comes up here, it's kind of jittery. Uh, let me change my to my brush size. You can see it kind of as it moves around, it kind of jitters and it kind of moves and everything else. So what happens is it's it's much more difficult to use than what it used to be and sometimes it doesn't let up at the right time. It's just quirky behavior. And you can go in and change, use tablets and everything else in the Windows setup. But I've tried all those. They don't really work all that well. So let me show you what you can do here. What you want to do is go into, let me drag this across here, this subdirectory. And I'll put this in the comments below. User J, App Data, Roaming, it would be your username, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop CC 2017 settings. Okay, once you find that, you want to create this file, PS User Config. And PS User Config is going to allow us to put in some simple lines here. And I'm just cutting and pasting these from another area so I don't have to retype them. And you can see right there that we're going to use WinTab. And then we're going to use System Stylus to zero. So we're going to default back to Adobe's way of doing it. We're going to put it into this directory. I don't need that in the file itself. And then once we file save it and then close out. Now when we go into here, and I'll go ahead and re-edit this in Photoshop. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do is going to go ahead and go to that clone tool as soon as this loads up. And now when I hit the alt and the thing, you see there's absolutely no circle that's kind of coming up there. It's almost immediate when you want to clone. Um, then when you go to the filter and go to liquify, here you'll notice my, my brush moves at the same rate. And when I move, there's no circle that's coming in. It's allowing me to do it and real time there's no delay associated with it and everything else this used to work perfectly before i got my new machine and reinstalled creative cloud here and uh, i don't think i had done this particular method before but it's much much better so that's how you get rid of the irritating circles the jittery cursor on liquify liquify not working the way it's supposed to and that's it this is jay signing off and like us down below if you want to follow us for more tips you can subscribe and echoes up next talk to you later bye